Hi, I welcome to our cell culture or tissue culture facilities here in cell culture lab at Mayville State University. As it, my name is Khaja Hussain. I'm a professor here at Mayville State University. I teach various courses of biology like genetics, molecular, cell and molecular biology, microbiology, genetics, and also I do research in many areas and most of the research funded by North Dakota EBSCO. So one of the facilities I'm going to introduce here is like you know, we have inverted fluorescence microscopy that is you know money we got equipment grant from NDF score and this what it did we have the cell and you know, treated with different things then we, we can see the cell and then we can uh, look at the cell and you know, whether there is any effect of uh, any influence of any chemicals that are extracted from wheat bran and effect of the cell whether it is have any influence on the growth and development of the cell so use this microscope and as I told you, this is equipment grant, you know, funded by equipment grant, of, uh, not Dr. EBSCO. Here, if you look at this, we have tiny you know, laminar flow, you know, air clean system, and we use for cell culture facilities, and we have here incubator, the carbon dioxide incubator, and also we have the carbon dioxide container. So this is, you know, cell culture, newly developed one, still developing, and in future we'll develop more and we are using it you know every day almost every day and the cell is in the in the in the incubator still you can see that okay so these are the facilities we have it here for cell culture and tissue engineering at Mayville state university and it is really helpful for any student who want to pursue their career in biology either in cell health areas or wildlife areas and you can see this these facilities we have here and a student can learn it publish their work and get the experience in the research project. Thank you.